Recently, users start noticing that the new M1 MacBook and some of the Intel base are showing advanced wear in just a few months of use. A trolling site can cause a dry to burn out years before expected. So in this video, I will share to you two ways that you can check your SSD health and other information about your Mac performance. These two methods I work both on the Intel chip and the M1. So we start with the first one, which is check through the DryDX application. So what it is? DryDX is one of the popular tools to check the SSD health on MacBook. This application can basically provide quite a full range of parameters about status, capacities, and of course the log data index that we need to look at today. So because of its convenience, uh, it's not free, but you can have 15 days trial before you decide if you want to buy it. Now you're gonna click on the link on the description to download this application and once you're done, just install and click trial as usual. Now just launch it and go help indicator folder. In here you will have a full range of information about your Mac performance. I'm not really get all of this actually, but the thing that we should pay attention here is the data unit right in line. So in my case, I purchased this M1 for about 2 months and I'm using 11.0 terabyte, which is not really bad. So the second thing that you should look at is the life percentage use. It presents the depreciation of your SSD health. So luckily, I am still stay at 0%, but some of my friends, they said they lost about 1-3%. to so that is where you can find the information about your SSD health. Now if you don't believe this way, let's try the second one which gives us more accurate information but it will be a little bit complicated. So the second way to doing so is using your terminal. It just copies and pastes process but will take you a little while to complete. So you first need to download the Xcode from the App Store. Once you finish, let's go ahead to right click on Terminal, Get Info, and open using Rosetta. And then launch the terminal. Now we will install the homebrew by adding a code. Just make sure you check the description because own code will be put on it. After you paste on your terminal, hit return and put on your password to install the homebrew. It will take a while to complete and after you see the installation successful status, you're now ready to install the next one which is Smart Moon Tunes by adding another code. Alright, the final step is check your BSD name. You're gonna go to About This Max, System Report, Storage, and copy your BSD name. Now when you got it, type in the terminal, this code, and make sure there is a blank between letter A and your BSD name. Click Return to see full information. So now in front of you is the smart and health information of your Mac. And as I mentioned, our purpose today is to check the SSD health only. So you only need to care about the data you need written and percentage used. After compare the result of both ways, I think it is not really different, but the second way will be the most accurate way to check. So that is pretty much for the videos, if you think it's helpful, please subscribe to receive more from me. If you have any questions or concern or comment, please leave it below and I will try to answer them all. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next videos.